Trey Lance popped up about this time last year as a legit NFL quarterback prospect, and every year there's some sort of small school quarterback that becomes a trendy name in a first round pick. Derek Carr, Jordan Love, Trey Lance, Zach Wilson are the kind of guys I'm thinking about, and I know the draft is still going on, and you're probably not even thinking about 2022 yet, but there is one guy who is already getting a ton of momentum for the 2022 NFL Draft and could be a first round pick next year at the quarterback position from a small West Coast school. So today we're going to meet that prospect that everyone's already talking about and is going to get a ton of buzz, and that is Nevada quarterback Carson Strong. He could have declared for the 2021 NFL Draft, but he has since chosen to come back to school and will try to go on a crazy fall run where he could see his draft stock soar and become the next Josh Allen, Jordan Love, or Trey Lance to a degree. So today we're going to meet Carson Strong, talk about his career so far and what he brings to the table and if he could be that next great small school quarterback. But first, before we get into it, if you love college football, please be sure to hit that subscribe button as I upload quality, as I upload multiple quality videos every single day and I never take a day off so you won't want to miss out. If you want to help my videos and my channel do better, please be sure to show your support by hitting that like button and leaving your thoughts down in the comment section and turn on post notifications so you never miss when I do upload. Now let's get started and talk about Carson Strong. It has not been an easy journey for Strong, as he threw for 2,700 yards with 26 touchdown passes and only 10 games as a junior at Wood High School in California, and then he missed his entire senior year following a knee injury. He came into the Nevada program, and head coach Jay Norvell had this to say, quote, Coming a semester early doesn't work for every player, but for quarterbacks, it's great. He can understand the signals and the calls and sit in the meetings and watch our older players prepare. He's got a jump start on in his career, and he's shown a lot of maturity and a lot of progress and a lot of natural ability to throw the football. He came in under-recruited, and after a lot of time off the field, it definitely showed. According to 24-7 Sports, Strong was a three-star recruit, the number 76 pro-style quarterback, and the 2,172nd best player in the class of 2018. After a long wait, he would finally get to play his first game against Purdue. As a Purdue fan, this game was absolutely painful, but Strong was ready for the moment. He said, quote, Nothing's really changed. I've been preparing for this. Right now, I've just got to lock in, get ready for Purdue, and get ready to win. He would do that, as despite Nevada trailing, they'd make a comeback and hit a game-winning 57-yard field goal in a freshman's first game. Of and this was absolute bliss for the Wolfpack and heartbreak for the Boilers, and this was a very annoying game for me to watch, but props to Nevada for pulling off the upset. Strong put himself on the radar after beating out last chance U-star Malik Henry for that starting job, and in 2019, he tossed a cool 2,335 yards and 11 touchdowns and completed 63% of his passes, but did throw 7 interceptions. He'd make a name for himself then, and then going into 2020, he was expected to have a big year. Despite a wacky Mountain West schedule, he played well, and he saw his name shoot on the draft boards. He threw for 2,858 yards, 27 touchdowns, and only 4 picks. So how could this dude become a first round pick? The biggest thing to it is winning. Lots of quarterbacks put up huge numbers in college, yet you have to win. Nevada could get into the top 25, and that'd be massive for his draft spot, and that'd be massive for his draft stock, especially if he doesn't get as much buzz this offseason as the other guys at his position. But let's look at some of the top prospects that were taken in the 2021 draft. Trevor Lawrence won a national title, Justin Fields went to the national title, Mac Jones won a national title, Trey Lance won a national title in the FCS, and Zach Wilson at BYU went 11-1. You have to win games to be a good quarterback prospect, and if Nevada reaches double-digit wins and Strong repeats his great numbers from last year, he could be a first-round pick. The two times Nevada's been ranked in the top 25 in their program's history came in 1948 and 2010. And what also happened then? Their quarterbacks were drafted, as the first one was Stan Heath, and then more recently, a name we all know in Colin Kaepernick. So what are 2022 big boards saying right now? ProFootballNetwork.com already has Strong as a first-round pick in 2022 at number 31 overall to the Tampa Bay Buccaneers. He said, quote, Tom Brady may well want to play until he's 50 years old. However, the reality is he probably won't. Not that I'll be the one to tell him that, the succession plan isn't currently on the roster, and it feels unlikely that a quarterback will be addressed in the 2021 draft, so in the 2022 first round mock draft, I have the Buccaneers grabbing his successor in Nevada quarterback Carson Strong. Strong has all the physical attributes to succeed in the NFL, and his arm strength makes a fit in Tampa Bay's vertical passing offense. He's on the right path right now. Another dynamite season could lock him into the first round. Strong has ideal NFL size and arm strength, great accuracy, an excellent deep ball, a great work ethic, and a love of the game, and ideal intangibles, and this sounds good to me. The only knock would be his overall athleticism, his medical history, and his level of competition, but he's going to play against California and at Kansas State this year, plus a game against Boise State, who's the best team in the Mountain West. He'll get a chance to prove himself, and after being limited athletically due to a knee issue, 
he could have a more nimble 2021 season. So when we begin to talk about him, there's nowhere else to begin than discussing his high octane arm talent. It's up there with the best in his class, and he has the ability to drop the ball in the bucket beyond 50 yards down the field, and can rip the football into some incredibly tight windows at intermediate levels, and he can hit any level of field, and is well equipped to run a vertical offense. Strong will surely need a decent amount of time to adjust to the mental side of the game at the NFL level though, but he does not struggle to get through his reads pre-snap, nor does he struggle to work through his progressions in play. Strong works on time in the short game as well, showing the ability to thrive within structure. If you talk about his accuracy, he has the uncanny ability to connect on balls over 30 yards in depth at perhaps the highest rate in the class. He can work the short game, and he can kill you over the top with his massive cannon as well. His throwing motion is smooth, and his footwork is crisp as well, displaying the great mechanics on his drops. While Strong is one of the strongest arms, no pun intended, his mobility is not anything to write home about, which is a major concern. He has the ability to navigate the pocket and slide out if needed, but he is not known for extending plays with his legs or making plays outside the structure of his limitations. He honestly has the ability to pretty much do anything, but right now he's got to battle his medical history, he's got to battle the Mountain West competition, and he has to battle the stigma of being a smaller named quarterback, as he's really got to play well against Cal Kansas State and Boise State to put his name on the radar. As just a redshirt sophomore, he's a guy that could blow up and he's still young. And some may knock him, but he has more experience than the likes of Trey Lance and Zach Wilson and he'll have more starts under his belt than Justin Fields if he plays every game next year. Everyone loves to talk about that quarterback that comes out of nowhere, Derek Carr, Josh Allen, Jordan Love, and then this year Lance and Wilson, and next year the candidate for that will be Carson Strong from Nevada, and I really like this guy, I've heard about him since he played Purdue back in 2018, and I've read a lot that he could become a big name in next year's draft. What do you guys think though? I really like the kid, and I want him to succeed, and I definitely want to see him go in the first round, but what are your thoughts? Let me know what you think of this projection, who will be that next big quarterback, and let me know some of your favorite quarterback prospects for the 2022 draft. I'm excited, and I'll reply to every single comment you guys have. Before you go, if you want more people to learn about Carson Strong and the 2022 quarterback class, be sure to hit that like button so more people can see it. Subscribe if you love everything to do with college football, and check out all my other videos on the end screen, including my video about Spencer Rattler winning the Heisman. I hope to see you guys again soon, but until next time, Peace.